as I noticed in my last video, I was quite busy for the last few days. There's a good reason for this. Um, and a very strange one. Uh, we received a letter from the wonderful Department of Work and Pensions, which I never thought we'd receive, about underpaid pension. The fact that the government is telling you they've underpaid something is bizarre. Um, if anything, all governments like to take money and not give it. Um, it turns out this is part of possibly this long-running problem, which you'll see when I share screens. State pension correction exercise update. Um, a load of old people are not going to realise that there were changes to the state pension system along over the last few years. And they, people who were widowed or widowers um, may have been entitled to uplifts, uh, money inherited from a deceased partner, and didn't realise it. As a result, this wonderful letter bounced through my letterbox um, addressed to my elderly father, and I ended up pulling out loads of bits of paperwork going back to the year dot. My mother has been dead since I was a kid many years ago, so I was forced to pull out loads of bits of paperwork, which I haven't seen for ages. Fortunately, um, my wife um, files everything with meticulous thoroughness, being a former bookkeeper, um, and I was able to use her to help me out with this. I was a bookkeeper myself for a time, but I can't say I'm as meticulous in the way I do it, although I do keep most things. I'm wondering how many people out there are going to realise that this is going on and that they get um, that they there is money wandering around the system that should be theirs and that people are going to pass on and not realise it. Apparently, if that does happen, there are provisions for the hairs of such to claim. But I wonder if people are going to realise that. Let's have a look at this written statement to Parliament with. State Pension Correction Exercise Update. This statement provides an update to the House on uplifts to state pension, which has been a matter of parliamentary interest since 2020. With this, that's the. I think someone should have done a slightly more flattering photo there for this chap. We are committed to making sure that those people found to have been underpaid the state pension receive the money they are rightly entitled to. We became aware of issues with state payment and payments in 2020, and we took immediate attention action to investigate the extent of the problem. This is an issue that dates back many years across successive governments. How surprising with Britain. Rectifying these cases is a priority for the department. We will do it as quickly as possible. From August 20 to January 20. One, the department carried out a number of complex scans of legacy computer systems that analysed many millions of uh, state pension records. In other words, some bloke sat around trying to muck around with old paperwork and old computer records. I imagine one gazillion floppy disks or something were pulled off old shelves. Uh, old dusty hard drives were, were utilised here. The scans identified cases requiring further investigation. These cases can be categorised into the following groups. People who are married or in a civil partnership who reached state pension age before 6th of April 2016 and maybe were entitled to a category BL uplift lifted on their partner's national insurance contributions. That would be people like my father. My mum died at a relatively young age, but she had well over 25 years of state pension contributions due to tax stamps. However, the law changed on that recently. Following a change in the law in 2008, when their state spouse became entitled to a state pension, some people should have their basic state pension automatically reviewed and uplifted. Underpayments have occurred in cases when this did not happen. There are apparently a quite a large number of these. Most of them affect women because historically women outlive men in a marriage. Pension, people have been widowed and their state pension was not uplifted to include amounts they are entitled to inherit from their late husband, wife or civil partner. People have not been paid category st d state pension uplift as they should have been from age 80. Um, I'm going to include some information about this, as I never, you never know. There may be people out there who have elderly family members. This is an issue for as well who may not realise this is all going. going. Um, I found uh, tracking the paperwork down onerous, but at least I could do it because it's still there. But 
it wasn't amusing. I had to dig through box after box to find things like marriage certificates, death certificates, and Lord knows what. Now, at least I can find it, and I could stick it all in an envelope and chuck it out there. But it took me several days to do it. And one of the major problems is if this is going out to pensioners on their own, with the greatest of respect to pensioners, many elderly pensioners are probably not going to be feeling like going through a load of boxes of old paperwork, or in many cases are not going to be able to do it because they're too frail, or, base, or if they're suffering from any conditions like Alzheimer's or dementia and don't have a younger person to help them, simply won't be capable of doing it. This is not terribly well advertised, and I was wondering at first was this whole letter a scam until I actually looked into the matter and then realised, oh dear, this is ongoing, and realised that there is a heck of a lot of women out there who were underpaid a huge amount, and we are talking billions. Uh, another great, wonderful sort of <laughs> display of legacy of, I would say, not legacy of computer systems, legacy of bureaucratic systems that didn't really work very well and constant mucking about. Oh, well, um, as it stands, it's not something anyone here desperately needs, but if the Department of Work and Pension wishes to correct their errors, far from me, me to get in their way. Uh, but it's, um, I'm sure there may be other people out there that have elderly relatives who would like to look into these issues, especially if you have a widow or a widow in the family.